I came in today for a Mohs procedure. I had a, a trip to an eye doctor recently and they removed a small bump off of my eyelid and it tested positive for basal cell carcinoma. So I was referred to Dr. Zayak and um, we're doing the procedure today. This little spot right here has been identified as a basal cell carcinoma. So the idea what we're gonna do today is anesthetize the whole area. We're gonna cut around the smallest little piece of skin to preserve as much normal tissue because in this area every little bit of tissue is going to make it better for the recovery. And once we cut it out, when I look under the microscope, if I see that the tissue is all clear, I'll go ahead and just put a few stitches in and sew it up. If we find that there's a little bit of positive tissue somewhere, we can come back and just take like another little sliver, but we map it in a way that we know exactly where we're at when we're looking at it. I am Dr. Zyax, Mohs technician. I am here to process the skin cancer specimens that he gives me when he is doing the Mohs procedure on patients. We have a machine that's called the cryostat that needs to be at the proper temperature to freeze the specimens. I set up the chemicals for the staining of the slides and I also set up the books for documentation to document the patient's information. Once that is done, I put the specimen in the grossing station and I ink it like a legend. And once the specimen is relaxed enough and the skin edges are laying flat, I will process that into the machine, which is the cryostat, and it freezes at the temperature of negative 23. Once that is done, I mount the specimen onto the cryostat console and I cut it at a certain micron. Once I start cutting, I take sections and I place them onto the slide. And once that is done, I put it through the stain line. And once that is done, the doctor will be able to read the specimens on the slide and will be able to decide if the specimen is still positive or negative. So now that the tech has finished preparing the tissue, we're gonna look at it under the microscope. We can see here that primarily what I'm looking for is the complete epidermis. What we're looking for here is any signs of any remaining tumor cells. If we do find some remaining tumor cells, we mark them on our card in the areas that we see them so that when we go back to take the second stage or second layer, we can just go back and take that precise area without having to remove any normal tissue. Most cases are pretty much negative or clear of tumor within one to two layers. Occasionally, however, in a complicated case, they can go up to as many as seven or eight layers but the goal here is to remove the entire tumor, preserving as much normal tissue as possible. Here on the microscope, what we're looking for are cells, as well as on the screen for some of my fellows that are watching, cells that look tumorous or look suspicious, where then we look at them more closely and decide whether if they are tumor, we need to go back and take another layer. This procedure called Mohs microscopic surgery allows the surgeon to remove the tissue, preserving the most normal tissue as possible. And with the use of the microscope, searching for cells, we can be sure that when I go back and talk to the patient that we are tumor free and ready to go ahead and close or reconstruct the defect in order to get the best cosmetic result. The best cosmetic result means removing the entire tissue, preserving as much of the normal tissue as possible and creating a nice repair or a nice reconstruction of the defect in order to minimize the scarring. We finished the procedure. We took it out, looked at it under the microscope, we saw there was a little bit on the skin edge and we took a little sliver more, I just looked at it now, it's all out. Also, we sewed it up in a way to try to preserve the natural anatomy of your eye. It's going to be a little, you know, bothersome for maybe a day or so. Like I said, you may get a little black eye there because the skin's so thin, but it should be great. We'll see you back in a week, get those stitches out, and you're good to go, knowing that your cancer is out. Perfect. Okay? I can't thank you enough. Alright, no problem, thank you. Being fairly young, I was really concerned when a doctor told me that I had skin cancer. So I wanted to go see the best possible person I could. I had some dear friends in the area that recommended Dr. Marty to me. And uh, it's brought me great peace of mind to go through this procedure and now I'm cancer free.